This woman made history by becoming the first black woman to win a prestigious beauty pageant. Meet the remarkable Janelle Commission, the trailblazing first black woman to claim the title of Miss Universe in 1977. Curious about her life's journey and how she looks today, even after 46 years? Prepare to be amazed by her remarkable story. But before we delve into her incredible journey, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a moment of this inspiring tale. The quest for beauty has intrigued humanity for ages, but defining it is a challenge. To explore this concept, people turn to beauty contests, a platform where individuals showcase their aesthetic qualities. Among these contests, Miss Universe, founded in 1952, stands as one of the most renowned. In its early years, the winners typically had a European appearance, setting a specific standard for beauty. The beauty industry predominantly favored this particular ideal. However, as the world evolved toward greater diversity and tolerance, the beauty landscape began to change. In a pivotal moment in 1977, history took a remarkable turn as the Miss Universe pageant crowned its first-ever black winner, Janelle Comision, hailing from the small Caribbean nation of Trinidad and Tobago. This significant achievement resonated worldwide, making her an icon. Janelle was affectionately known as Penny due to her petite stature, small as a penny. At the time of her victory, she was a 24-year-old with no prior stage experience or aspirations to become an actress or model. It's fascinating to note that Janelle's path to winning the coveted title of Miss Universe was anything but conventional, for it was a dream she never harbored, nor was it part of any grand design. At the age of 13, Janelle embarked on a journey that would significantly shape her life. She left her native Trinidad and Tobago and relocated to the United States, where she resided for a decade alongside her parents. Her life had taken her to the United States, where she pursued studies at New York's Fashion Institute of Technology, a place where her true aspirations lay. Her aspirations at the time were centered on fashion design, and she aspired to make a mark in this creative field. Upon returning to Trinidad, her heart was set on establishing her own fashion business, a dream she was eager to realize. She hadn't set foot on her homeland for quite some time, and she aimed to reintroduce herself to her people. In a twist of fate, Janelle decided to participate in a local pageant, not with the goal of winning global beauty titles, but as a means to publicize her budding fashion enterprise. Remarkably, she clinched victory in the local pageant, setting in motion an unexpected journey towards the Miss Universe competition. The realization of the magnitude of this opportunity didn't fully strike her until she arrived in the Dominican Republic where she encountered the unwavering commitment and competitiveness of her fellow contestants, each fiercely dedicated to the prestigious title. As Janelle's journey in the world of international beauty pageants unfolded, the stark reality of how the media handled black contestants came into sharp focus. She vividly recalls how the global media presence was a daily occurrence during the competition, with newspapers consistently featuring a contestant on their front pages. However, a notable omission became evident. There was a conspicuous absence of black contestants gracing these covers. This discrepancy was far from coincidental. In Janelle's own words, We never saw ourselves in the papers at all. We figured we were there to make up the numbers. The experience was a revelation to her, one that introduced her to a world where she, as a black woman, felt relegated to the background, an unfamiliar sensation of being deemed second place or second class. Everything was new to her, the beauty industry, the bias, and the competitive nature of the representing nations. It was all an eye-opening experience for the young Trinidadian beauty queen. The astounding occurred when this seemingly ordinary girl, who had never set foot on a stage before, clinched the title. Her victory was not just a win, it was a groundbreaking moment. When the time came for Janelle to grace the stage, she did so with captivating elegance and style. 
Her national costume was nothing short of spectacular, adorned with elaborate feathers reminiscent of her homeland's vibrant carnival celebrations. As she appeared in this resplendent attire, Janelle radiated the spirit of her island, exuding a contagious energy that lit up the stage. In the evening gown segment, she chose a slinky gold lame gown that complemented her figure, allowing her to shimmer with grace and sophistication. Her impeccable sense of style was further accentuated by her short, well-coiffed hair, framing her face with an air of timeless beauty. Janelle's enchanting smile, combined with her intelligent and eloquent responses, captured the attention and admiration of the judges. In the end, Janelle's charisma, intelligence, and poise proved to be an irresistible combination. The judges unanimously awarded her the coveted 1977 Miss Universe crown and title, a momentous achievement that would go on to shape the course of her life and inspire countless others around the world. Her triumph resonated on a global scale, ushering in a new era in the world of beauty. No longer were beauty standards confined to a single image. Janelle's victory encouraged the inclusion of women of diverse appearances and nationalities in magazines and advertising. She became an inspirational figure for women of African descent, motivating them to strive for more and achieve greater heights. In that pivotal period, when Janelle Comission became the first black woman to win the Miss Universe pageant, society was on the cusp of significant changes. Despite the growing wave of diversity and tolerance, not everyone was prepared to embrace this new reality. Janelle herself reflected on the challenges she faced, stating in an interview, A person of color was not a typical beauty. Her groundbreaking victory didn't come without its share of resistance. The main chaperone for the pageant winners, for instance, did not hide her discontent that a black woman had emerged victorious over a white Miss USA. Janelle recounted an exchange with this chaperone where she was told, Janelle, don't think you're the most beautiful girl in the world. In true Janelle fashion, she responded with a quick wit, saying, The organization you work for told me I was. Janelle's poised and unapologetic stance served as a powerful rejoinder to those who resisted change. Her impact wasn't limited to the realm of beauty but extended to reshaping perceptions and challenging established norms. Her story is a testament to the strength of character and the winds of change that were blowing at the time, heralding a new chapter in the history of beauty. Janelle Comission's historic win in the Miss Universe 1977 pageant played a pivotal role in elevating the status of Trinidad and Tobago on the global stage. Her remarkable achievement left an indelible mark, firmly establishing her as an icon in her homeland. The significance of her victory was further underscored when Trinidad and Tobago hosted the Miss Universe pageant in 1999, a grand event that took place 22 years after Janelle's groundbreaking win. Penny's victory brought her immense respect and admiration from the people of her country, Trinidad and Tobago. She became a beloved figure and an embodiment of pride for her fellow citizens. Interestingly, the following year, Wendy Fitzwilliam, representing Trinidad and Tobago, secured the Miss Universe title once again, continuing the legacy of success that Janelle had initiated. Janelle's triumph not only inspired her nation, but also played a crucial role in paving the way for future generations of Trinidadian beauty queens leaving an enduring impact on the world of beauty pageantry. Despite her newfound status and international acclaim, Penny did not receive any special privileges or perks from the government at the time of her victory. She chuckles as she recalls, I got my name on a plane, but not once did I get a discounted ticket. I flew at full price just like the person in 14J. This lighthearted remark showcases her down-to-earth nature and sense of humor, as she acknowledged that her fame did not come with luxury treatment. But Penny's mission extended beyond the realm of beauty. She embraced her role as an advocate for black rights and world peace. For her dedication and remarkable achievements, she received the Trinity Cross, 
the highest honor that a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago can be bestowed with. Following her win, she was tasked with traveling and participating in charity events as part of her pageant responsibilities. Penny undertook this role with great enthusiasm, recognizing the significant responsibility that came with it. She knew that she had a vital role to play in championing the rights of people of African descent, not only within her country but across the globe. She considered her victory as a step in the right direction in changing racial attitudes. However, she was acutely aware that transformation would require more than just a beauty pageant. Her vision extended to challenging the status of black women in the industry and society at large. As part of her prize for winning the prestigious Miss Universe competition, Penny was offered a year's contract and a screen test with Paramount Pictures, one of Hollywood's major film studios. This was a remarkable opportunity that could have launched her into a career in the world of entertainment. However, Penny made a deliberate choice that surprised many. She declined the offer to pursue a career in Hollywood. Her decision stemmed from a deep understanding of the challenges that awaited her in the competitive world of acting. Penny recognized that the path to success in Hollywood was fraught with intense competition, and even with the contract in hand, there was no guarantee of achieving stardom. Rather than risking her newfound fame and dedicating herself to the uncertainty of a Hollywood career, she opted to receive a cash prize instead of the contract with Paramount Pictures. Following the conclusion of her duties as a beauty pageant winner, Penny embarked on a new chapter in her life. She pursued her entrepreneurial spirit and ventured into the world of business. With determination and resilience, she established her own clothing business, marking the beginning of her successful career as a businesswoman. During this time, Penny's personal life also evolved. She found love and companionship with entrepreneur Brian Bowen, who was renowned as the founder of Bowen Marine, one of the region's premier boat-building enterprises. Brian was a well-respected figure in the marine industry, and their partnership was a testament to their shared vision and ambition. However, their happiness was tragically cut short when, in 1989, Brian was involved in a fatal car accident. The loss of her beloved husband was a devastating blow, and Penny faced the challenge of not only coping with her grief, but also assuming the responsibility of taking over his business. The marine industry was traditionally male-dominated, and many of Penny's peers and clients held the bias that a beauty queen had no place in such a field. Undeterred by these stereotypes and misconceptions, she wholeheartedly embraced the role and shattered these preconceived notions. Her dedication and determination proved that a woman could not only manage but excel in a large boat-building business, achieving remarkable results and establishing herself as a respected leader in the industry. Penny's remarkable journey of resilience and determination didn't stop there. She embarked on a new chapter in her personal life, marrying businessman and influential figure in the media industry, Alwyn Chow. The couple extended their family by adopting a girl named Sasha, exemplifying Penny's commitment to making a positive impact on the lives of others and fostering a loving family environment. In recognition of her profound contributions and her unwavering commitment to her home country, Penny received a notable honor in 2017. She was appointed as the chair of the Tourism Trinidad Destination Management Company. This role allowed her to play a pivotal part in shaping the tourism landscape and promoting the natural beauty and cultural richness of Trinidad. Her extensive knowledge of the industry, coupled with her dedication, made her an ideal candidate for this significant position. Before her appointment as chair, Penny had already been actively involved in the development of tourism in Trinidad. From 2012 to 2015, she served as the vice chair of the predecessor agency, the Tourism Development Company. During this time, she contributed her expertise and insights to the organization, working towards the growth and promotion of tourism in Trinidad. Her commitment to advancing the country's tourism industry was evident in her years of service and her exceptional leadership.
Today, Queen Penny, as she is affectionately known, has reached the age of 69, but her youthful vitality continues to astonish those around her. Her age-defying appearance and zest for life defy the passing years, leaving observers in disbelief. Despite the passage of time, she maintains her radiant spirit and derives immense joy from life's experiences. In her enduring role as an influential advocate, Penny harnesses her considerable impact to champion women's rights. Her unwavering commitment to this important cause remains a cornerstone of her life's work. With unwavering strength and confidence, she stands as a source of pride not only for black women in Trinidad and Tobago, but also for women worldwide. She believes in the power of change and continues to leverage her influence to address vital issues and promote gender equality. Reflecting on the journey since her historic victory in 1977, Janelle acknowledges that significant strides have been made, yet challenges persist. The issues of women in business and the complex definition of beauty, particularly concerning people of color, remain subjects of intense debate and remain largely unresolved. In her ongoing commitment to creating a more equitable world, she effectively manages her business affairs, drawing upon the lessons life has bestowed upon her. Janelle remains dedicated to the continuous struggle for progress, ensuring that the legacy she has built since becoming the first Black Miss Universe endures as a symbol of strength, resilience, and inspiration. Despite her illustrious past in the world of beauty pageants, Penny has embraced a more relaxed approach to beauty regimens. She no longer adheres to a strict beauty routine and has adopted a more carefree attitude toward her physical appearance. Nevertheless, she remains humble and somewhat uncomfortable when the conversation veers towards her own looks. Penny acknowledges the often controversial focus on physical beauty in pageants. However, she firmly believes that beauty queens have the potential to drive positive change. Through their platform, they can draw attention to significant global issues and challenge conventional thinking. Penny's enduring influence serves as a reminder that beauty goes beyond appearances, extending to the impact one can make in the world and the minds of people. Penny remains an enduring icon in her homeland, Trinidad and Tobago, where her pageant victory left an indelible mark. Her remarkable achievements have firmly etched the nation's name on the global stage. In a heartfelt tribute to her contributions, her image has been immortalized on the country's postage stamps, a symbolic recognition of her profound impact. Recently, in a gesture that reflects the nation's deep respect, a prominent street in Port of Spain was renamed in her honor. This momentous event is a testament to the enduring significance of her legacy. As Trinidad and Tobago charted its path to independence from Britain in the 1960s, this dedication recognizes the importance of celebrating local heroes who shaped the nation's history. Queen Penny believes that such tributes can inspire and instill a sense of history and pride in the younger generations, fostering a connection with their heritage. Janelle Comision, known for her sharp mind and quick wit, often received questions about her political aspirations. Her response to such inquiries was nothing short of delightful. With a chuckle, she would dismiss any notions of a political career, stating, Not at all. I was too smart for that. Instead, she continued to use her intelligence, influence, and passion to advocate for the rights of women and people of African descent, making her mark as a beacon of inspiration and change in her own unique way. Penny's impact transcends borders, and she has not only reshaped conventional notions of beauty, but also shattered gender stereotypes. She is a symbol of empowerment, proving that women can excel in the world of business on an equal footing with men. Her enduring influence continues to inspire people worldwide. Thank you for joining us and for sharing your thoughts. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. See you next time.